Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV. Ooh, let me adjust this real quick, sorry. Let's see if we can get that. It's very close. All right, anyways, uh, so it, I did a video not too long ago on the uh, Toolkit, uh, Toolkit RC, the uh, M4Q, and so we did 10 of them. We had 10 in stock, and we did a, a, a basically an opening, a live opening, on all those 10 because we had heard that there was a problem. One of our customers had a problem with one. So I opened all 10 and all 10 failed. And I think if you haven't seen that show, or not that show, but that video, uh, go back and watch it if you want. But this is in response to that. Toolkit RC uh, wrote me about it. And I will say that there was a little negotiation there between us and them and our agreement was simple. We weren't gonna take the video down. We were gonna give them the opportunity to send us another batch. Um, and uh, if they wanted to send us a batch, we would feature a video like this, and these are all unopened, and we would run the same test again. So what I'm gonna do right now is this is the 10 new sealed ones. The 10 that uh, were defective are sitting on the shelf over there. These are 10 brand new ones that they sent us in response to the video uh, and in response to them taking care of us, okay? So here we go, and I will, I will say this much before I even get started to see uh, the result here. Sorry, let me get this going. Before I get started and find out the end result, I'm gonna use a, a Thunder Power RC Adrenaline. Uh, this battery has been put in storage mode, that's why we put a red plug on it. Um, we're just gonna see if this will read, and all, we're gonna do all 10 of them. We're gonna power them up. I'm gonna use one power cable though. I'm not gonna pull the power cable out of each one, so that'll be the one constant that we have. Uh, the rest of these will be pulled out. Battery will be plugged into all four ports. We're gonna see if it gets the right reading, okay? Um, again, getting back to this, if you recall, maybe six months ago or so, we did a video on LiPo batteries, and we found that we had a defective group. And the company, one of the companies we dealt with, uh, said they were gonna send us replacements, and we never received them. We never received a credit. We lost a few thousand dollars on that deal. Uh, I will hand it to uh, Toolkit RC for at least sending these to us, even though we didn't agree on taking the video down, which was their initial request. Uh, uh, and I don't think it needs to be. I think that if they've settled the problem, it'll make them look very good for the way they handled it. So let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna open the first one, and I'm going to take the um, power cable out of this one. And this will be the power cable that I use for all the rest of them. So here we go. This is gonna be uh, number one. And I forgot this, the video may vibrate here. I forgot that this, the camera's been moved to a, a mount on my desk, so I'll try not to bang this desk around too much. All right, so let's put number one over here. And let's get the power cable out. I'm just gonna walk around and plug this into the other side of the desk. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. All right. So first thing we're gonna do, and we're gonna do this without any firmware updates, we're just gonna power this on, see what we get. Make sure everything powers up properly. So far so good. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take battery number one, plug it in. Let me see the easiest way to get this to fit. Uh, I guess we'll plug this in. First, hold on a second. Let me see how they want this done. Okay, so this is going to go in this way. And then we will plug in this. It's got a reading 15.2 volts, and our cells look good. So we'll go to the next one. Now we have 15.2 volts, and the cells look good. Still don't know why we're getting any kind of voltage on this side. For the one that has no battery in it now but right now what we're going to try to do is make sure we get proper readings okay 15.43 volts and everything looks good here and let's do one more 15.42 volts and everything looks good here let me see if i can make this a little bit more readable there i think that'll that'll work out pretty good okay so with regard to what we had to deal with before um, we weren't able to get anywhere near this with the other ones. So, so far, this is good. So I'm gonna take number one, and I'm gonna go ahead, power that off, put it back in the box. And I'm gonna set this box aside because that's got the power cable. Now we're gonna go ahead and open uh, charger number two. Bless you. Wait for this to start up. Okay. Let's go ahead and plug this in. 15.44 volts. The voltage looks fine on the cells. Looks good. 
Next one, for two, 15.44. I'm all right. Okay. Four three. 15.44. All right, we'll go to port four. 15.44, all the cells are reading the same. That's number two is working. We tested the wheel and test the channel changer and that's working. So this one's good too. So far we're doing great. Put that back, this will be sealed back up. And you will know now, oops, you will know that these have been tested. That's the good part. At least you'll know that we're going to make sure we're selling you stuff that we know has been tested to work properly. All right, let's go with number three. Let's plug it in, get it started up. Okay, all right, wheels working, channel changers working. Let's go ahead and plug it in. 15, 15.42, 15.42, 15.43, 42, and 15.42. All right, so far again, each port looks good. We've tested the wheel, we've tested the channel selector, so we're looking good there. Again, that's good, we'll put this one back. Seal it back up. So be uh, charger number four. Okay. Wheels working. Channel buttons working. Uh, 15.46. Uh, let's see. It's a little higher, but uh, again, it's still reading the, let me do something here. I wanna check if I plug this in a different way. 15.46. Okay, just so I can see, this was not an issue, and I'm not making it an issue here. Uh, let me just do a voltage check, just so I can give you an accurate reading of what the uh, of what we're showing here. Uh, Fifteen point four five. All right, so I would say that we're in the range here, which is perfectly acceptable. So with that done, let me go ahead and just continue. All right, let's go to the next one. I think we did port two, but I'll do it again. All right, 15.46. 15.44. Four six three eight three eight three eight. That's a little difference. Three eight three eight three eight three eight. I'm wondering if I let it settle a minute. Nine, nine eighteen. I don't know if the numbers. I don't know how quickly it's going to calculate. But here we have eight. So I don't see how we're arriving at a three right here, uh, which I'm not going to worry about. But if we were to add each one of these. Uh, let's see, we have 8, 8. If it bounces at 16, that's 18. The number here is a little low uh, compared to what we're... Well, no, actually, hold on a second. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong spot here. So we have 8, 8. Uh, let's see, 5, 11, 16. No, that's fine. 16, 22, 11, uh, 10, 15, 16, 21, 22. Actually, it's, it's probably about right. I mean, it, it's very close. Uh, anyway, so that's reading. So let's go to the next one. So we had 15.43 there. And then let's see what we have here. 15.43. So if we go back to port two, I believe it's 15.46, it is, and that's 10, 
So if I'm looking, and depending on how it's going to round this up, uh, let's see, we've got 10, 16, 22. And if we round that, that's 6, 6, that's 12, 18. Uh, and then we would round that, we would leave that at 6, that'd be 4, 4. So uh, 8, 16, 16, 32, I don't know. It's, it's, I guess it's kind of close there either way. Uh, but uh, it's, it's reading, it's getting somewhere very close. I want to make sure that the totals are correct. So let me just... Let me just do something here, just so I can be sure of it. Uh, let me see. We have three point. What are we at? Three point eight five eight plus three point eight five eight plus three point eight six zero plus three point eight six one. Fifteen point four four. It's reading a little high, but then again, if we round that up, it's going to be somewhere in the range. I'm going to say that it's acceptable. I have no reason to argue that at this time. It's much better than what we were getting. These two seem to read on the higher side, and these two seem to be on the lower side by, uh, by not enough for me to even worry about. So as far as this is concerned, I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. Um, and there's a, a calibration that you can do, which obviously these are opened out of the box. There's been no firmware update or anything. So I would say it's definitely a success so far. All right, so we're going to be on box number five. Wait for it to start up. Okay, wheel's good, channel selector's good. Let's go ahead and get started. 15.43. Fifteen point four three. Fifteen point four three. And fifteen point four three. Again. Plug that back in there, please. Yep, again we're looking good. All the cells are reading good. So number five is good. Five more to go, guys. <clears throat> okay, this is unit number six. Let's get this powered on. Well, let me test the wheel. Okay, wheel's working. Channel selector's working. So here we go, 15.45, 15.45, and the last one, 15.45. Again, looking good, we'll take that. And that means unit number six is good and tests great. Okay, number seven, here we go. Start up first. Okay, here we go. Go for number one. 15.43, excellent. Channel selection works, okay. Let's go to number two. Okay. Port three. And port four. Excellent. Again, unit number seven now, that's seven out of 10. So far, I've worked great. This is definitely a plus compared to our last time. So it looks like they have taken care of the problem and they were very prompt with us. So we can appreciate that. All right, this is unit number eight. So we only got three more to go, eight, nine, and 10. 
Okay, here we go. Let's test the wheel. That's working. Channel's working. 15.44, and we have our voltage there. Okay. 15.44 voltage there. 15.44 voltage there. And we'll just plug these in this way. Oh, hold on. There we go. 15.44. All right, unit number eight has tested fine. Now we're on to unit number nine. We only have two left. Unit number nine and unit 10. And that'll be it. So far, we're 100% rocking here. No problems. There we go. Okay, we've got it started up. 15.46. All right, wheel works. Channel works. Let's go to the next one. 15.47. It probably bounced down to 46, maybe. We'll see. No, I'm not seeing it move right now. All right. 15.46. Okay. And right here. 15.46. All right. Unit number nine is successful. And last but not least, last but not least, unit unit number ten. This is the final unit that they sent us to replace the ten that were defective. Oh, got some batteries ready. All right, here we go. All right, wheels working, channel's working. All right, so here we go, same battery, 15.44. We have our <clears throat> readings correct on the cell. Number two, readings correct, 15.44. Number three, 15.43. Fifteen point four three readings correct on the cell. All right, so it's safe to say uh, that. Let me get this one put away first, and then we'll finish. All right, so let's get to it, shall we? All right, guys. So here's the deal. So it's safe to say right now that uh, the ten that they sent us are awesome. They are working like they're supposed to. I am extremely excited that. Uh, we were able to get to this point with them. Um, <coughs> I want to thank Lucy from Toolkit RC. You know, she, her points were valid. And I guess at the end of the day, you know, everybody's allowed to have errors. We have them. Every company's allowed to have them. They stepped up and um, they took care of it for us. Uh, and well, I guess that's better than what we could say for some companies that hadn't bothered to help us out at all when they sent us bad products. So to Toolkit RC and to Lucy, thank you very much. Thanks for fixing this issue and for proving that the product is reliable at this point and that not all of them are like that. The 10 that we do have that are defective, uh, there's only certain ports that are defective on. I'm not sure what we're going to do with those, but these 10 will go back up. The new 10 are going to go back up on our site now for sale. So by the time you see this video, these will be ready to be sold again. Uh, and we're going to seal these back up, but you can uh, rest assured that we've already tested them in this video and it's good to go. So guys, I hope that helps you all out. I know it helped me out a lot uh, to, uh, to see this work and to know that we can still depend on Toolkit RC for their products. I'm not really sure what happened with this bad batch thing. I, I do encourage all the companies out of China who use the term bad batch to understand that bad batch can be pretty bad for us. Uh, because getting things shipped here is very costly and waiting for uh, repairs is very costly and usually frustrates our customers. So we'd appreciate it if everybody would step it up. But thanks to Toolkit RC and everybody else. All right, guys, listen, that's about it. We are a few days away from Christmas. Uh, we are four days away from Christmas. I hope you all are having a great time. You get to spend time with your family. I want to say what's up to my kids, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you soon. And uh, to my wife, Sam, thanks for my awesome uh, early Christmas present with my watch. Thank you very much. All right, guys. God bless. Be safe. Most of all, go spend time with your family. Never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.